All right, so this video we're going to look at joint variation. All right, so these all of these statements here are equivalent. So basically what they're going to tell you are, they'll give you this. They'll say Z varies jointly as X and Y, or Z is jointly proportional to X and Y. Okay, so if this is what they're telling you, then your equation is going to be Z equals some constant k times x, y. Okay, so z is equal to k times the two variables. All right, so I'm going to show you two examples. One's going to be a simple one on how to solve for k. That's going to be the first example. And then uh, the second example will be a word problem. All right, so let's get started. All right, so it says find a mathematical model representing z varies jointly as x and y and it says z is 64 when x is 4 and y is 8. All right so let's go ahead and write this down or right, let's write our equation down. z varies jointly as x and y so that means z is equal to some constant k times x, y. All right and so now they're telling us that z is 64, x is 4, and y is 8. So we're going to take each of these and plug them in. Okay, plug 64 in for z, 4 in for x, and 8 in for y. Alright, so we get 64 equals k times x, which is 4, times y, which is 8 and so 64 equals 32k divide by 32 so we get k equals 2 and so our equation is z equals k and we figured out k is 2 times xy and so this would be your model Okay. All right, so now let's look at the word problem. All right, so here it tells us the work, w, the work W in joules done when lifting an object varies jointly with the mass M in kilograms of the object and the height H in meters that the object is lifted. Okay, so that information there, this right here, is telling us our equation. Okay, so it tells us that the work W varies jointly with the mass M and the height H. So that's going to be our constant K times MH. Okay, all right. So now the next piece of information, let me change colors, this information here, the work done when a 120 kilogram object is lifted 1.8 meters is 2116.8 joules. All right, so this, this right here gives us the information to solve for K, okay? So the work done when lifting or when a 120 kilogram object, so the 120 is the mass M in kilograms, so that's M, is lifted 1.8 meters, so that tells us the height, so this is H, is 2116.8 joules. This is the work W. Okay. Now one thing, if they gave you any of these measurements in different units, okay, then you would have to convert it to kilograms in meters. Okay. All right. So let's plug these numbers in and then we can solve for K. All right. So W is 2,106.8 
equals k times m, which is 120, times h, which is 1.8. All right, so we get 2116.8 is equal to, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply these in my calculator. So that's 216k. And then I divide both sides by 216, and I get k is 9.8. So that's k. All right. So now I'm going to take this value, and I'm going to plug it in for k. So my equation is w equals 9.8 m h all right all right so now let's get rid of this all right so now this last statement they're asking us to find how much work is done when lifting a hundred kilogram object 1.5 meters okay so I'm gonna have to take the 100, plug that in for M, and the 1.5, and plug that in for H. So W is 9.8 times M, which is 100, times 1.5, which is H. So the work, let's see, the work is 9.8 times 100 times 1.5 and that's 1470 joules and that's the work done okay so you can see the main thing is setting up your equation figuring out what k is based on what they're giving you which was in this line here okay this this line right here Okay. And uh, then plugging in information to find what they're asking you for. Okay, but you got to find K first. All right, so I have videos on direct variation, inverse variation. You can check those on my YouTube. Check out those on my YouTube channel. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.